Hey guys, it's 2018. Hope you guys had a great holiday time. Just thought, hey, let's kick off the new year with a great new vlog, great new content. Let's do something awesome and exciting for the new year. Today I'm gonna basically build a set that you can see behind me here, already kind of built. It's just a little shot of a little snowy landscape with two old fashioned cars chasing each other using only materials that I've found around my house. Some flour and some mud. I'm gonna use the green screen in the background to comp in different elements in Photoshop. So without further ado, cue the intro and let's get the show on the road. Hey guys, so I've just finished shooting this little set down here. I am pretty happy with the results. So as you can see, my light setup is very, very basic. I've got a single light back here, just lighting up the green screen behind me. That's just so I can compound the background and insert my own kind of background later in Photoshop. I've also got this light right here that's kind of just reflecting against my white ceiling dropping down a very very wide soft soft light onto little models down here hopefully that worked well and uh, well, I'll see in post now I'll go and review the photos quickly the idea is quite simple I want a night scene snow dropping down I'm going to insert the sky and anything that I kind of want that I see fit into the scene in post now so let's go check it out and see what we can do with it right once we're in Photoshop I'm gonna go down to file scripts and load files into stack I'm gonna click on browse and open up my files that I want to stack uh, making sure that the attempt to automatically align source images is selected and then press OK. It's then going to load up all my images as layers and then align them based on the content provided. After that I'm going to go up to edit, uh, click on auto blend layers and stack images and make sure it's seamless tones and colors is ticked and it's going to attempt to automatically blend all my layers. Now unfortunately this process isn't perfect so a little bit of touch up is required as you can see there's weird little blobs and bits that's out of focus where it should be in focus so all I'm going to do is use the clone brush tool and the healing brush tool to just repair those little issues. After that's done I'm going to hit to select, click on color range and select my green screen so I can create a mask on my background stacked image so I can replace it with the background of my choice. Once I click OK I've now got a selection of my green background and I can simply head down to my create a mask button and it's going to create a mask on the background layer. After that I just simply invert it and then alt click on the layer mask and do a little bit of cleanup where necessary. Right and once that's done I alt click back on my layer mask and it's going to bring back my full image and I'm going to quickly crop this image to a 16 by 9 ratio. Cool, up next I'm going to just repair this edge over here just using the healing brush and clone brush tools. And I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and select hue and saturation so we can remove the green cast of the green screen. I do that by simply selecting the greens and taking down the saturation. Once that's done, we can actually get to the fun part by inserting our background into the scene and making it a bit more complete. I'm going to just use a selection of mountains and the snowy road with some clouds overhead. I'm just using layer masks, I just blend them in and make it look a bit more realistic. Right, and once that's done, I'm just going to move down my landscape a little bit just to make it look right so it fits in a bit better. Uh, crop it a bit more, blend it in a bit more and apply a little bit of a blur to the background as well. Next step would be to blend all these images together, making them all equal in terms of brightness and color, just so they look more realistic once it's combined. 
So I'm going to just use my adjustment layers and just the curve setting on that just to make it blend a bit better. I'm actually making everything as flat as I can without losing too much image quality as this is going to give us a good base to do our color grading off of. I'm just going to start adding some adjustment layers for our color grading. Uh, first off it's curves and next I'm going to add a black and white layer just to add a bit of contrast. Move the sliders around until I see a good result. And I'm going to switch the blending mode over to soft light. After that I'm going to add a color LT or lookup table and, and switch it to moonlight. This just gives us a nice, almost realistic looking night scene. Going back to my curves layer, I'm just going to add a bit of an S curve, push those shadows up a little bit more, and we should be good to go after that. Now, once that's done, I'm going to select my color lookup table and brush out parts of that mask so it gives us the impression that the light from the headlights is actually falling off onto the landscape. Right, zooming in, I also need to add some light from the rear car falling onto the front car and just going to create this little rim light here just to make it look a bit more realistic as well. Then creating a new layer, filling it with white and using a gradient to just mask out the white layer, I've created a beam of light coming from the headlights and I'm just using the transform tool to just make it look a little bit more realistic and just adding some perspective to those beams. And then to give the impression that these cars are actually moving and not standing still, I'm going to isolate each one of them by using the pen tool so that they're on their own individual layers so I can add some motion blur to each car. I also want to make the cars look a bit more realistic by adding some reflections into the window. So I've simply just copied and pasted some of the background layers uh, of the mountains and I'm just going to flip it around and just blend it in using a layer mask. Okay, once it's done, just to emphasize focus on the two cars, I'm going to create a new curves adjustment layer and just add in a bit of a vignette around. So just using a gradient tool and just masking out the middle, inverting that mask, we've got a beautiful little vignette going around the edges. Next step would be to add some snow being shot up by the wheels as they turn around the corner. I've just created a new layer with a white brush and just dabbed some dots around and then use the motion blur on that just to give it a bit of direction. You can also use the clone tool just to give it a bit of texture and just apply the motion blur afterwards just to blend it in nicely. Right, and once that is done, it is now time to create a new layer, fill it with 50% grey, add some noise to it, make sure it's Gaussian and monochromatic, and this is going to be our snow. I'm just going to use the levels and create very contrasty noise here, add some bit more there, and this is just going to create our snow. So we're going to create multiple layers of that to add different dimensions of snow as it's appearing closer and further from the camera. And just it's just going to give us a bit more of a realistic feel and just a final nice touch to this image. Right, and once you've created your multiple snow layers, you're going to have to drag some of them and make them a bit bigger, some of them a bit smaller, just so you've got various snow sizes. Add a bit of motion blur to some of those layers just to create the impression that it is actually falling and not just standing still. As this is a night scene, realistically, there would be a bit of motion blur because you're dragging the shutter to allow more light in. It's all part of just getting it to look nice and realistic. Once that's done, I'm going to add a layer mask to my snow layer and just brush out parts of it so it just looks a bit more random, making it appear a bit more natural. And that brings us to the end of this video tutorial. If you liked this video, press that like button, smash it if you're into that kind of thing. But remember to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.